This is a demonstration uh, that will help you cure your sweaty hands or your sweaty feet, a uh, condition known as hyperhidresis. What we're going to be using today, you can see I have a standard 12 volt battery. This is a motorcycle battery, but it could be any 12 volt battery, a lawnmower battery. You can usually pick these up at your local department store for about $20. I have a connector, a black connector with two alligator clips on the end. You can pick these up at your local auto store, a couple dollars. A red one, this is a black one, and I also have a red one. I have a pitcher of water, and I have these two stainless steel pans. Uh, these are basically, I picked up, uh, they're used to be put on ranges for stoves. They cover the eyes, so make sure they're made out of stainless steel. And basically, this is all you need to cure your sweaty hands. Uh, what we're going to be doing first is, the first thing we're going to do is connect this black alligator clip to this stainless steel pan, just like this. Then we're going to connect the red alligator clip to this stainless steel pan, just like this. And then the next thing we're going to do is simply fill these pans with regular tap water. Just regular tap water out of your faucet will be fine. Fill them up. And now, at this point, the only thing you have to do is place one hand in this pan and one hand in this pan. Now, Usually it's best to make sure the water is about lukewarm, not hot, not cold, somewhere around lukewarm. And when you place both of your hands in, you will complete the connection. The electricity will flow from this terminal through your body into, uh, in, into this terminal. And if you'll do this for about 20 minutes a day, for about two weeks, three times, three to four times a week, you will notice uh, a significant decrease and how much sweat your hands uh, and your feet is, is producing. Now, what you have to do is you place, like I said, both hands. I'm having difficulty doing this, seeing that I'm holding the camera. You place both hands in these pans. Now, one note of caution is do not let these touch, especially if you're using a battery that can, uh, can deliver a, a high number of amps. Do not let these two touch or you will get sparks. Um, so keep your hands for about 10 minutes, and then after 10 minutes, take your hands, dry them off. Simply, like I said, do not let these terminals touch one another. Simply reverse the polarity and put your hands in for another 10 minutes. And if you'll do this about three to four times weekly, usually once every other day for about two weeks, uh, you will notice that uh, your hands have stopped sweating uh, almost completely. Uh, my hands used to sweat profusely, and now they don't sweat at all. Uh, if you go to a dermatologist, they will sell you a device like this, or they'll have you come in and do treatments for about three weeks for about $30 a treatment. And then they'll sell you a device that costs about $700 that does the exact same thing. Uh, yes, it has some fancy knobs and, uh, and gadgets to allow you to increase or decrease the amount of current flowing through the device, but essentially it does the same thing. For this, you can usually put this together for about a uh, about twenty or thirty dollars. So, trust me, it works. I wasn't a believer, uh, but I tried it, and a, uh, after I found out my insurance wouldn't cover the device, I decided that I could make my own. Now, if you don't want to use a battery, a motorcycle battery or lawnmower battery, if you don't have access to one of these, one thing you can do is you can go to your local department store and buy something like this. This is simply an AC uh, to DC adapter. It allows you to change the voltage from 3 to 12 volts. As you can see, I paid $4.99 for this. So it's a pretty good deal. Uh, the problem with this is this only delivers up to 12 volts, the same amount as the, uh, yeah, as the battery. And for some people, this will work. i found that I my hands, I have a uh, higher tolerance, so I uh, purchased this AC to DC transformer off of the internet, and it converts a uh, 120 volts, I know you can't see this in the whole writing, but it converts it to 24 volts DC. 
and you do need to make sure that the current you're using is DC. So I simply took this transformer, came with the plug, and I, uh, I removed the plug, and I simply put these two alligator clips on. Alligator clip here, and an alligator clip here. So you see I have these two alligator clips. I got a handful of these for a couple dollars, and I simply cut the plug off and put these alligator clips on. And this is the, the device that I use. Uh, but like I said, this is a uh, 24 volt, so it delivers a little more of a jolt. You will feel a slight tingling sensation when you place your hands into these pans. Um, but to get started, probably this would be a good bet. But one note of caution, never hook uh, 120 volts, which is your standard household current, into these two pans. Uh, very quickly you'll figure out that's not what you want to do, could electrocute you. So make sure that you're using only a small voltage of DC current. So if you want to be on the safe side, just get a couple of these. You could even get 6 volt batteries and put them in series. So you could have 6, 12, 18, or 24 volts. I've also used two of these batteries in series to get 24 volts. But this is what I found uh, to be the best for me. Cost about 10 bucks. Pick it up on the internet. Just look for uh, 120 to 24 volt uh, DC conversion. Now, this takes care of your hands. I found that my feet also sweat. So what I did is I simply went out and I bought two of these chafing dishes. And they, uh, what I do is I do my hands and my feet simultaneously. So I simply hook them up like this and I take my alligator clips and hook my chafing dish to this pan that I put my hands in, like this. This does the right side of my body. And then I hook red alligator clip up to this chafing dish. This does the left side of my body. And I put my right hand and right foot in here. Obviously, I fill this up with water. And my left hand and left foot in here fill this up with water. And then hook my power supply my case, my 24 volt power supply. And this, you can do your hands and feet simultaneously. And I've actually found this to be a little more effective. It also saved, saves times. Uh, so for about 20, 25 minutes uh, um, every other day, and this total cost will probably run you somewhere around a, uh, 20 to 30, $30 dollars. I found it to be a very effective way to cure my sweaty hands. You can see that I've just uh, just done this on myself, and it does leave a little redness, but this usually goes away in a couple of hours, but I found it well worth it. As you can see, my, oh, my hands are perfectly dry. Um, so I hope that you can use this information for anyone that has uh, ever suffered hand, uh, sweaty hands. Uh, you know how detrimental it can be to your social life. So take this information and uh, save money and cure yourself.